it's a very good morning from me back over the Lake District again and down in Martindale most people will I think if you know the lakes will know where this is uh, hitting four Wainwrights I think I'm gonna do a night's camping tonight I'm booting it. it's the uh, Chapel House farm perfect conditions are set from home sun shining not a cloud in the sky nice warm temperature not a breath of wind got over the mowers start to darken start to rain <laughs> I'm camping tonight and all <laughs> it's sort of clearing up a bit dull a bit moody we'll be in for a good trek today I'm thinking <laughs> about eight miles I think so really looking forward to it so everybody start to gather there now the five minutes will be off considering I've been doing a, a big walk for over a month there now I'm still managing to be in the leading group how I don't know but uh <laughs> might blow up later on scenery as always for you it's absolutely superb climb is almost at an end thank goodness I'm knackered <laughs> Spectacular views, no matter which way you look. Blown a gale, but so what? I need cool enough. So I'm not doing much uh, talking on the the way up. To be quite honest, the uh, times we did have a break, I would sort of breath. Sometimes if you stop and you film, you take a few photographs. Two minutes later, you look and you're a quarter of a mile behind everybody else. And it's a bit of a tough call to keep on catching up if you haven't got your fitness. And the last month I haven't been out at all because I've been suffering a little bit with a groin strain. So not much talking for me today. It's been a really nice walk up and from the church a lot of people will go straight up. What we did today is that we circled around the base of the fell and then we had a nice gentle walk and a bit of an incline to the top of the first summit and then we walked along the Roman road we've got another two summits to, to hit yet so I'm really looking forward to them so we're dropping down there now and this next destination is in sight I think it's Arthur's Pike I think and then and then we're going over there to Bonscale before we make it a circular walk back round really nice walk this on the ridge a sense of history so not only are we walking in the footsteps of the famous Alfred Wainwright we also walking the route of the Roman legions over 2,000 years ago and there's the old water steamer which Missy, me and Mrs Metal Man got across from Glen Ridden to Howe Town Arthur's Pike, third 
one of the day. And we've got really good views again. All the way up to Blencathra. I've sat in the summit of their umpteen times before. In all weathers. Uh, unfortunately the time I did with my grandson, uh, Harry Metalman, we couldn't see a thing. Which was a shame, because it, the views from there are stunning down over Keswick. Come all the way down, looks like we're heading all the way back up again. Lovely. We can see the the cairn of Hallen Fell. Just at the bottom of Hallen Fell is where we parked the cars. And it was steep coming up, but by God it's really steep of going down. Well, that's where we've come down from and that was one steep descent windy at the top now everybody's stripping off the bottom. yeah and i'll be joining them in a second so another 10 minutes back of the car there now and uh and then i'm driving over to the campsite get set up for the night put my feet up a few cans of cider just chill out So set up for tonight. Uh, been dying to draw, uh, try out this uh, new pillow I got, and I think I was uh, Gareth and Zoe. I think uh, I think they recommended it. Just got myself a new mat. So again, looking forward to trying that out. And the new sleeping bag, uh, tested by by Vikings apparently. So I should be warm enough. Over at the Chapel House Farm campsite, feeling a little bit stiff there now that I've uh, I've sat down for a while and uh, also had a, a few of these as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great walk today. Really enjoyed it, and this is a really nice campsite but for six pound a night. I certainly ain't complaining. So it's about uh, twenty-seven, I think. Uh, I better get cracking. And uh, Mrs. Metalman. She's interested in seeing me do a bit of cooking. It's something that, uh, to 38 years of marriage, she's never seen before. So, so she's looking forward to it. It'll just be very, something very basic, I think. It won't be any anything as exotic as Gazanio outdoors. Nothing like that. But uh, I'll try my best.
saw another Gareth and Zoe tip. Rather than put all this in a bun, why not stick it in one of these? Very nice of this too. And given that I enjoyed that one so much, I'm gonna have another one. And I just sat down with a Bernard Cornwall there and had about two and a half hours solid reading. So I'm gonna settle down now with a, a, a film I think for the night. Looking forward to a day out with uh, Chris Pye tomorrow. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.